So uh, this video is about bisecting, not dissecting, that's frogs and biology and stuff. Although bisecting does mean cutting exactly in two. So just for fun, here is a bisected frog. Right, here's what we actually want to bisect, it's a line. And the bisector is going to go right down the middle, so we're going to draw another line that goes right down the middle here somewhere. Okay, to do this we're going to need a compass and a ruler. And the first thing to do is to put our compass down on the line here. You see I've chosen the point B and we want to draw two arcs. One below, like this, and another one above the line. Then without letting the uh, compass change size, we want to flip it over so it's now on the other end of the line and do the same again. So one arc below and one above. Okay, now we've got two crosses here. So what we can do is line the ruler up on them and then draw the bisector in. So this line that we've drawn here now, this is our bisector. And the angle we've created in here, this is going to be 90 degrees. Now you might get asked to draw the bisector of two points. So uh, it's exactly the same method. So instead of getting a line AB like this, you might get two points AB. So uh, for this, it's exactly the same method. You want to do two arcs above, two arcs below, and then line the ruler up and draw the bisector in. Okay, the next thing then, we've got to do bisecting an angle. Okay, so here we have an angle, it is 60 degrees, and the bisector is going to be a line that goes right through the middle, somewhere around here. Okay, so to start off with then, we want to pop our compass down here with the point right on the corner and draw two arcs, one that crosses each line. So we're going to do one that crosses the line there and another that crosses the other line. Then we're going to move the compass and put the point where the first arc crossed the line and draw another one. And then we want to do the same from where this second arc crosses the line. And again now we've got this, arc, uh, this cross of arcs here. So what we can do is we can line our ruler up so it's on the corner of the angle and where the two arcs cross one another and draw in the bisector. Now, we started off with a 60 degree angle, so now we've cut it exactly in half, we've got two 30 degree angles. So if you ever wanted to draw a 30 degree angle, if you started off with a 60 degree one, then you can use this method to cut it in half and get your 30 degrees. Now, you can actually use this uh, method to cut any angle in two. So here we have a 90 degree angle and we can draw the bisector of this one in exactly the same way. So you want to start off with, you want to put the compass point down on the corner of the angle here and draw two arcs, one that crosses each line. And then you move the compass and put the points uh, where those arcs cross the lines, draw two more arcs, then you can line your ruler up on the corner of the angle and where the two arcs cross and draw the bisector through. Now, we started off with a 90 degree angle this time, so now we've cut it exactly in two, we have two 45 degree angles. So if you ever wanted to draw a 45 degree angle, if you start off with a 90 degree one first, then you can use this method to cut it in two and get your 45 degree one. So to summarise then, bisecting means cutting exactly in two, and you can bisect a line by uh, doing two arcs above it and two arcs below, and then lining your ruler up where the arcs cross and drawing the bisector. You can also bisect an angle by putting the point of your compass on the corner and drawing two arcs, one that crosses each line, then moving the compass, drawing a couple more arcs, and then again lining your ruler up with the corner of the angle and where the two arcs cross and drawing the bisector through. Now, there's one more thing to say. Sometimes you might get asked to draw a line that shows all the points that are equidistant from either some points or some lines. So equidistant just means the same distance. So these bisectors are exactly that. So for the points uh, A and B here, sorry, for the points B and A, oh, for the points A and B, finally, um, all the points that are equidistant can be seen on this line here. So for example, this point here, it's the same distance to A as it is to B. And if you need to draw all the points that are equidistant from two lines, then the angle bisectors are what you want. So the point here on this line, it's the same distance down to this one as it is up to this one here. So if you're ever asked to draw all the points that are equidistant, then these are the lines and methods you want to be using. Right, I'm off to bisect a cheesecake.